Hi, and welcome to our third episode of North London TV. I'm Steve, this is Roseanne. Hi. We're here to show you all the best bits of North London. Uh, Steve and I both were born, grew up, went to school and have now got our own families all based in North London so we know the area really well and we want to share some of its beauties with you. So today we're meeting Clive who's the owner of Hob Salons. We'll be getting a little bit of property advice from myself all about new build properties. Um, we'll be doing a bit of golf practice. Uh, I've got a golf pro showing me a few tips and this week's market update is on Finchley. And now it's time for this week's big interview. Our man on the ground, Joe, has gone off to speak to Clive, who's the owner of Hob Salons. Today we're going to pop into Hob Salons and meet the owner, Clive, to find out a little bit more about his business. Hi, right, Clive. So thank you very much for um, taking the time to meet with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about Hob Salons? Well, yeah, we've been uh, going for 35 years. In actual fact, the branch that we're actually in today was our second branch, our first branch being in Mill Hill back in 1983. Um, this branch we opened five years later, so it was around about 1988. Um, bushy, great community. Um, we've seen, obviously, a lot of people coming into the area over the last, certainly over the last sort of five years. Um, it seems to be really exploding with, you know, you've got some great schools, you've got some lovely businesses up on the heath, that you know draws obviously the community up to. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's for us it's it's been a very very successful unit. And what attracted you to opening up here on the high road? The community we could see was going to be growing very very fast over a number of years. I mean I myself have lived in the area for 24 years. Right. So yeah, I mean Bushy um, has got a very soft spot in my heart. And the customers you have here is there a lot of kind of transient trade or would you have uh, very much like regulars who come, uh, come in? Yeah, I mean I would say in general the, the, the clients that we do have are very loyal, um, they are locals within the vicinity um, and yeah you know our clients expect obviously a great haircut, great service, um, great colour um, and as I say looking for value. Whilst we're not the cheapest around you know we do train all our staff we have a big academy in the heart of Camden yeah, saying, yeah. um, that obviously our staff are trained in, um, which not a lot of salons around actually do. The thing is with the high road, there's not really many chains. It doesn't really seem to be a place that lands out, but you guys obviously have got a proposition which feel, must feel very personal, I guess, to people in, in Bushy to make a kind of a business that's got multiple branches work in, a, in an area like uh, Bushy Heath. Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're sort of very experienced in what we do over the, you know, the fact that we've been going for 35 years. Um, you know, we've won numerous awards over the years and we'd like to think that we know what we're doing in terms of training and bringing kids through. Um, and, and training and education is a big, big part of what we do. You've got an absolutely amazing business here, so thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. So that was great. Possibly we should have sent someone with a haircut. Yeah, either you or I should have gone. In fact, I should have gone. Yes, you should have. What do you think about my hair? What's next? Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Off. Um, next up, we've got our property advice, and this week Steve's going to be talking about new homes. So a lot of people ask me the uh, benefit of buying in new homes. Now, obviously, the biggest benefit to it is you're buying something that no one else has ever lived in. So. The bathroom's brand new, the kitchen's brand new. Another great thing about new builds is obviously you've got a 10-year warranty. So if there are any major issues, they're going to get sorted for you. And any smaller issues within the first couple of years, you know, myself, we live in a new build and they've been great at making sure that any small issues have been dealt with. Obviously, most people care about money and investments. And obviously, when there's more properties being built in an area, some people would think the values will decrease. But actually, it can be the opposite. I know where we are in Millbrook Park, which is just down the road from us here, you know, prices have continued to grow because it's become a place that people want to live. 
obviously a new build brings in a certain type of client and obviously you've got wealthy individuals buying some of the bigger properties because new builds are more than your standard property so obviously what happens is by better people coming along and living in the area schools are built in the area and just the whole area becomes to grow so obviously long term it is still a very very good investment so interesting stuff there about new homes you know your stuff I'd like to think so after all these years uh, next up we've got our lifestyle section so a few weeks ago i went down to alden and golf and country club to see the team down there and whilst we were there steve got some much needed tips for his golf hi we're here today at alden and golf club and i'm with the pro here tim and he's going to show us a few pointers about how to get my putting right fundamental areas that you need to work with okay one you're doing well balls in the middle of ball positions in the middle of your stance and the putter blade there yeah you need to have your eyes very slightly inside the ball inside a, being this side being this side okay so in front. you're quite a long way inside at present so we need to get you bent into this pot so more a bit more okay so if you set yourself down that's it so you come on in that's fine now you're about there which is better okay all right so just come in a fraction more so just shuffle it. that's it with the feet that's it good Okay, so now you're good here. I need, I need stupid man remarks. That's fine. <laughs> we all need those. Okay, so that's fine. So putting is all about presenting the putter face squarely to where you want to start the ball. So grip's good. Let's just try and ease the shoulders and arms together and push the ball forwards. Okay, a little speedy, but the hit was great. Okay, so a little softer. Let's get the putter right up to the ball. That's it. Ooh. Okay. So setup's much better. Let's just help you with the, the strokes. Let's get you in the same situation again. Okay, so that's fine. So I'm going to do the work for you. So just relax the arms, okay? Yep. Arms and chest to move together. So it's back. Just ease it forwards. Not very good at being told what to do. That's better. Hurrah. <laughs> 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 Taught me how to putt in under two minutes. <laughs> right, so that's my putting sorted for a little while. But Tim, can I have uh, top three tips for our guys out there? Sure, okay, we'll run through something just behind us and we'll see where we can go with that. Perfect. Okay, so very importantly for putting is ball position and putter position. Here I've set up a very simple couple of sticks. So the putter blade is middle of the stance and so back of the ball is middle of the stance. Okay, from there, with the stroke, the arms and chest work together, a lot of people work the putter this way or that way. We're trying to keep it as straight back as we can. There's always a slight arc because of the way the shoulders work. But from there on in, it's just nice, even pace and just send the ball forwards. Thanks for that, Tim. That was absolutely Pleasure. brilliant. Now back to the studio. So thanks for that, Steve. My pleasure. It looks like you got a good, helpful tips there. Yeah, it was great. It was, he was really good and now I'm practicing every day. And I noticed you actually got the ball in the hole this time. That's the camera. <laughs> and a few takes, I'm sure. Outtakes to follow. Anyway, now it's time for Area Guide. Every week we're focusing on a different area in North London. North London as a whole is rich in both its community and its landscape. And this week we're going to be focusing on Finchley. So Finchley is a different one because it's split into three areas. So it's actually got three stations on the tube line and you've also got three postcodes. So it's a really large area. It's almost 34,000 homes in Finchley. But all the areas have a lot to offer. Um, they have high streets with restaurants, local shops. Um, there's big supermarkets there. There's a variety, huge range of schools. People flock to the area for the primary and for the secondary schools. It has a big cultural pool as well. There's a local theatre there, the Arts Depot. Um, it has a big complex with a huge local cinema swimming pool and restaurants on site. There's also tennis courts, there's leisure centres, health centres. You know, there's a lot of entertainment there, as well as the green spaces with the parks. The great thing as well with Finchley, you've got really diverse in regard to the types of houses in regards to ages. So you've got a lot of big terrace Victorian houses, and then you've got quite a lot of modern developments, and then you've got your traditional semis. So it's really interesting in regard to properties, um, but it does where prices start to grow because Finchley is really, really sought after. I think obviously 
you've got a direct access onto into the tube. You know, for our point, you know, we were talking about Mill Hill like, the other week, and um, obviously you've got to get a shuttle from Mill Hill to Finchley Central, whereas Finchley you're directly onto the onto the Northern Line and off you go. So really, 15, 20 minutes, and you're into central London quite easily. And the rail links are amazing as well. You have the A406, you're close to the M1, you're close to the A41 as well. You know, there's lots of pull for, for Finchley as an area as a whole. But when there's all of this stuff, prices do go up. So you're looking to start in Finchley, really late 300s, early 400s for your two-bedroom flats, and you're looking to get yourself into a family home. If you want a semi, you're going to be looking 650 to 700,000 pounds. So for all of this, it doesn't come cheap. The thing is, though, you're talking about raising the house prices, but also you're moving that closer into central London. So you're also talking about location, and with a closer location to a big uh, capital city, you are going to be talking about house and prices. And you do know what they say about location. 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 Exactly. That's it for this week's area update. I like them too. They're really professional. I think they want your job. I think they do too. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, if you're a small business, want to get in contact and be involved in one of our future episodes, then contact the details below. And until then, we'll see you then. See you later. Bye now. Bye.